What's up, y'all? I'm Hotep Dutch, and we're gonna discuss um, Saint Nicholas. Um, it's a party celebrated uh, in the Netherlands, um, and there's a lot of controversy over whether it's a racist um, uh, celebration or not, based on the fact that um, Saint Nicholas has the Zwarte Pieter, or in English, as you call them, uh, the Black Peets with the black face. So anyways, before um, we get to that, um, I'm going to give you some background uh, on the actual figure behind um, St. Nicholas. Now, St. Nicholas was born in Mira, uh, or present-day Turkey. Uh, at the time, part of the Roman Empire. It was one of the first cities to embrace Christianity. Now Mira was uh, on the southern coast of Turkey which is now Demre city in the Mediterranean Sea. Egypt and Libya being the closest African countries across the sea. Now the Roman Empire during this time also occupied the northern part parts of um, modern day Egypt and Libya after they defeated the Nubian or Egyptian Empire in 333 before death of Christ or BCE now these are some of the events that happened during his life during uh, Saint Nicholas life 284 to 305 there was an emperor by the name of Diocletian now he led a Christian persecution in uh, 303 after him uh, came Constantine the Great uh, the next emperor of the Roman Empire. He was the emperor from uh, 306 to 337. Now in 324, Byzantium becomes the new capital of the Roman Empire, which is in modern day Turkey also. And the next year, 325, was when the infamous Council of Nicaea took place in the city of Iznik, also in Turkey. This meeting was known as the birth of Christianity. Now Saint Nicholas was imprisoned during the Christian persecution of uh, the Emperor Diocletian and was later re released during the reign of Constantine who himself converted to Christianity Constantine that is now he was a saint so there must have been some legends and miracles attributed to him uh, these are the three uh, legends and miracles that was known of him his earliest was a legend that he saved three innocent men from execution by Roman soldiers. Now the famous legend is that he rescued again three girls from prostitution by giving the fathers enough money for each to have a dowry marriage that is a paid marriage. A miracle attested to him is the resurrection of three children who were killed and put in a barrel to be eaten during a famine. Now after his death is when he became more popular. During the Middle Ages which was between the year 400 and 1500 roughly a thousand years the center class faced 
was a Catholic celebration an occasion for helping the poor by putting money into their shoes now these are some of the related events during the Middle Ages 439 Spanish Empire invades North Africa 476 the fall of the Roman Empire 520 the St. Nicholas Church is built in Demre, Turkey. 583 The first written account of St. Nicholas in the book called Life of St. Nicholas by Michael the Archimandrite. 630 The birth of Islam. 718 La Reconquista begins, which is the war of the European Christians versus the African Muslim Moors. And we fast forward to 1150, the year 1150. The story of Le Père Foutard appears in France. Now he is a butcher who allegedly killed three boys and put them in a barrel. Sound familiar? Now St. Nicholas discovers the crime and resurrects the children. Le Père Foutard, after witnessing the miracle, repents his sins and becomes a lifelong assistant or servant to St. Nicholas. The name Le Père Foutard translates to Father Whipper. Now in uh, fast forward to 1491 after the Treaty of Grenada all Moors were expelled from the European continent. The Zwartepiet image likely refers to the Moors that lived in Grenada, a city in the Spanish Empire up until the 15th century. Now this will happen after the Middle Ages. The Atlantic slave trade begins in 1526 with Portugal, I believe. 1581, after the Dutch Republic seceded from Spanish rule and reformed to Protestantism, Sinterklaas became a irreligious occult celebration within the Dutch Republic. Now during the 1700s in Germany and Austria and other uh, European countries stories of a uh, Knecht Ruprecht which means servant Rupert in German appear in the German culture as a servant of Saint Nicholas. Ruprecht was then a common name for the devil also in Germany. Now, celebrated in Austria, Krampus is a mythical horn figure that accompanies Saint Nicholas while visiting children. He represents the devil and will punish the naughty children. Now in the seven in 1770, Santa Claus, with his uh, green elves, was introduced to North America by Dutch settlers. In 1850, for the first time, a pair of Zwarte Piet, or Black Piet, were introduced as servants to Sinterklaas. They were dressed in Spanish noble clothing and uh, pirate accessories. They were depicted as coming from a steamboat together with uh, Saint Nicholas from Spain. Now in 1863, 10 years later, or 13 years later, slavery is abolished in the Netherlands. Okay, 1945, which is approximately 100 years later after the abolishment of slavery, the Dutch adapted a norm of a larger group of Zwarte Piet that accompanied Sinterklaas 
instead of the the two pairs now the term Moors refers to Africans who were associated with the religion of Islam founded in 630 almost 300 years after the death of Saint Nicholas therefore it's very unlikely that Saint Nicholas ever had any contact with the Moors he might have had contact with Egyptians or Libyans because these were being um, occupied by the Roman Empire during his lifetime in conclusion Santa Claus has been celebrated in the Dutch Republic for almost 500 years only in 1850 was Zwarte Piet introduced by a Dutch illustrator now you don't need to stop your tradition just go back to the original story Saint Nicholas of Myria lived in the fourth century almost 300 years after Jesus and 300 years before the Muslim religion during that time the only contact with black people were the Egyptians and Sudanese from the Kush kingdom the Zwartapita we see today depict the Muslim African Moors who raided Spain in the 8th century during the Middle Ages the original legendary companion of Saint Nicholas was a child butcher who later repented his sins and he was also considered as the devil now the replacement of the devil with the black man is a clear case of racism it was a personification of the innate fear that the early Western civilization had for the African Moor now the tradition itself is not racist you can keep the Catholic tradition but put back the devil named Krampus as the companion and leave black people out of this don't blame the Hotep for telling the truth I'm Hotep Dutch follow me on Twitter at Dutch Hotep 